welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a 72 hour forecast if you want to see the extended version of this reading make sure you check out the description box i will have an extended version where we're covering love career and finances what to expect in terms of the outcome all that jazz so definitely check that out also if you want a personal session with me make sure you guys check out my website i have a host of readings as well as the march 2022 forecast that's available for my people who want to know what march is going to have in store for you but let's go ahead and jump straight in today we're using a newer deck and i want to start off with this deck this is the cosmic creatures deck by mystic mondays and i love their tarot deck so let's see what animal archetype is coming through for the next 72 hours so what is the animal archetype that my leos should be embodying for the next 72 hours what's the energy around that we have the the shark okay so i'm feeling like this is being strategic this is knowing when to strike okay let's see what the actual book has to say okay oh here it is all right, so this is going to represent power, being a risk taker, and motion. And this reads, go in for the kill. The shark, although a peaceful predator, asks you to take chances and make calculated risks. The only way you will know if it will work is if you try. Don't fall prey to regrets. Instead, step into your power and with intention, clearly state what you want. The shark cannot see well, so it relies on its gut instincts and encourages you to do the same. With all this pent-up energy, the shark implores you release your emotions through healthy outlets, especially ones in which you are moving your body. The simple act of being in motion and tuning into your body can kickstart your plans, so use that surge of energy to ride the current to the next wave. The shark wants you to know that you don't have to wait for permission. Decide for yourself what is right, and the rest will appear, with the universe meeting you halfway. Okay. So yeah, this is about knowing how to be in tune with your intuition and your instincts and knowing when to strike, like I said. All right, so let's also pull some cards from my Price of Love deck. What's coming through for the next 72 hours for my Leos? What's the overall energy around them? Okay, so we have passion and we have healing that came out. So the topic of intimacy maybe a conversation between you and your person whether that's you guys needing more intimacy within your relationship things may have been slightly dry between you two because of existing problems all right this could also be you guys really starting to feel somebody who you may just have a sexual relationship with things may be getting more intimate or you might be you know really starting to like this person more than just on a sex sexual level all right also with passion not only is passion representative of intimacy but also passion in terms of anger so kind of like with this shark card this is making sure you're having a healthy outlet to express your anger um, and not resulting in doing things that you'll later regret or that you'll look back and be like well was that a smart idea all right especially when it comes to certain people that may be pissing you off maybe getting on your nerves uh you want to be careful of your response and being passionate and you know standing up for yourself and it's okay to be passionate in regards to that but just be aware of how that passion can quickly turn into actions you can't you know step away from okay um, I do get a lot of healing energy around a connection, though. Some of you guys may be being more intimate with your person. Hmm. Let's keep going. I'm using the Antique Anatomy Tarot for anybody who wants to know. What's the energy surrounding my Leos for the next 72 hours? We have the... Page of Elixirs. We have the Two of Swords. And we also have the Two of Rods. Okay. 
So, okay, I get this energy of somebody who is really emotionally immature, like I said, really putting you in a tight space in terms of you having to figure out whether or not you're going to keep this individual around or not. If this is a romantic interest, this person's really trying it in terms of them not knowing what they want from you, in terms of if they want to be in a committed relationship or not, or within the relationship, they do things that's very immature like they don't know how to communicate there's somebody who's a really difficult person to get through to like you guys may not be on the same page at all and it's mainly because this person's being stubborn or stuck in their ways or not seeing how deeply you care about them this person could be you know more so infatuated with you than seriously in love and that could be a problem in terms of the balance in terms of the emotions here uh, I also get, huh, I get this energy of somebody giving you mixed signals, somebody who may have been um, eager to go into business with you, or like you may have been planning a trip, or, you know, planning to move in with someone, something here, somebody's getting cold feet, that's why I just keep hearing cold feet. So during this time frame, I don't think that certain people are that reliable. You want to be careful in regards to relying on people. Let's keep going. All right, so I have the nine of elixirs or the nine of cups, the three of rods, and also the page of rods. All right, so looking at this, this feels like also... Your deepest desire could be during this time frame for some of you to like move to a long distance location or relocate to like a different state, a different city. And there could be some sort of issues with that. Like your job could be giving you a hard time in terms of this relocation. Um, I also get... Somebody who you really like, somebody who you take an interest in, you could be looking at the long term in regards to this. You could be realizing that they're very, like I said, immature or they're too hot headed. Okay, I'm also hearing this. Something that you may have thought that you wanted to happen, now that it happens, you may be feeling like, eh, that's not necessarily how I imagined it. A good example of this could be like you, you know, thinking that you really wanted to get in contact with like an old relative, right? And then you finally get in contact with them and then you realize that this person is like kind of shitty or they're not exactly how you imagine them to be in a sense. This could be, you know, you wishing that somebody in particular will reach out to you and then they finally do. And then they're not reaching out with an apology. They're not reaching out with like a new air about them. Like they're still the same. And this could be kind of disappointing for you. This may taint your view on someone, which is, is interesting. Some of you guys may have to turn down some sort of liar here, somebody who's dishonest, somebody who can't be forthright in terms of who they're talking to on the side, what they want. You're going to, yeah, you're going to end up turning this person down and you want to be careful of trying to extend any olive branch to anybody who's like this because they may not be... Um, that gung-ho for the situation themselves but I want to go on the other side and kind of get more in depth with this if you want to see the rest of this definitely feel free to check out my patreon if you're already a patreon member the videos will be uploaded on patreon right before this goes up so check it out and I will see you on the other side